back to Tuk's Craft Table. Welcome uh, to all my new subscribers and thank you so much for everyone who's been following me for quite some time. And uh, today we are going to do the second pattern of the fabric mask um, because I have uh, some requests that they want to see how I uh, put my mask together. So this pattern also is already up in my website and please remember do not download and copy do not download and print and cut because that's not actual size but it just show you how how it measure around to come out to this shape okay and then when you cut your fabric you cut it in full I, re I marked it in so when you open it it will be like this Here's my first layer. It's 100% cotton, and this is my lining. It's flannel. Thank you, Anne. This is from Anne Alba, and this is the interfacing. So that, and this is the case for uh, filter. So let me go iron on the interfacing to the first layer, and then we will start sewing. Iron it on the interfacing. It's, um, it helps the fabric to stay, keep the shape. So in this pattern, um, we will sew here and here. So I'm gonna run through all the layer that need to be. All three layers need to sew the same way. And the seam allowance is one eighth of an inch. I really like making this pattern because it's so easy putting together and give almost give the outcome as the same first Let's see that. Again, we'll, we'll prepare the filter casing. inside out and this inside out and this inside out so again this case wrong case wrong side to the right side make sure the what do you call the seam is matching? Now just do a quick quick run just to keep the two layers uh, stay together.
when we put together, now this is the right side. And this is the right side. So we'll put right side and right side together. You see how quick these come together? And that's why I like making this pattern when, you know, when I have a request. But I do use the other pattern for, for men. It's suitable for men. And by the way, um, make sure if you follow, you might want to add uh, a centimeter each to to the other um, pattern because I think for the face of um, because I got it from back home right so the pattern is fit for Asian face so it might be a smaller face <laughs> what I'm trying to say <laughs> so you might add a, a, a one uh, centimeter to to the pattern Let's hope I don't make mistake on this one. If you have a bone folder here so you can poke out the corner see how it's almost the same as the first pattern right so and way easier and uh, if you want to put the um, twist tie you can do it now, um, like this one. You see how? You see how it will stay the shape for your nose. So I didn't prepare for this one, so I'm just gonna leave it out. So I'm gonna again. I'm gonna turn a little bit in, and uh, this one I won't iron because I don't think it need to. Um, I'm just gonna quickly run again around. it is to get one mass done right so now again we'll fold this down oh landslide I know I'm wasting thread here but when I do a lot of them at a time, I just run everything and then, you know, that way I don't waste much of the thread. And there you go. Same length of elastic, 23 centimeters. So just it's up to the recipient. Sometimes you know people find it irritated 
um, so they can use just cotton string or and tie around the head um, rather than around the ear and that's why I go with this way rather than sew the elastic right on and another one point is that you can pull it really hard and then basically these can tighten up like that right so yeah that's how my mask work and let's get the filter just in case you missed my first um, lens lie um, my first video on this one um, so you can go back I will link um, at the end to go back and uh, follow this pattern and this this is some um, dry sweeping refill so it just helped trap and lock in dirt and dust and so I thought it would help you know to to protect so basically I just cut one sheet I get four filter out of there's no trick or anything like that um, for how I cut <laughs> just cut to the shape right so you get four out of one sheet and then you just clip off the corner and then you get a shape like that so basically you just insert that in And that's how I make my mask with filter, like a homemade filter. <laughs> I I saw some comment somewhere saying that they use coffee filter, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should try. But then you know, the moisture, you know, the coffee filter is <laughs> supposed to absorb the moisture, but this won't uh, as much. So that's why I was thinking about this this filter instead of other like tissue paper or anything like that. That would be like you know grab everything and and keep it there. But this like yeah, that's just I love this one. Anyway, um, thank you for come and check out how I make my mask and. Uh, We'll see you in a bit for a uh, headband. Okay, and head to my website to get the pattern. Okay, bye.